Pixel Rose Malibu House Tour Lifestyle and more 2023. Actually, it had a lot to do with, with Paul Tollett, Tollett of Coachella. Mm -hmm. You know, he started talking about it. It seemed real. So at that point, I just, you know, told my people that they could. We all have been a diehard fan of music. And when it came to the Guns N' Roses, we couldn't stop our feet from dancing. William Bruce Osager, a K.A. Axl Rose, was born on February 6, 1962. He is an American musician, patron, singer, and songsmith with multitudinous successes under his belt. Rose set up success in the 80s after Co. launching Guns N' Roses with this band. Rose displayed impeccable oral chops and originality that were in high demand, propelling him to fame and wealth. Rose has had a trying and joyous life. He followed his passion anyhow of fear, and this is why he is worth celebrating on his special day. With all kinds of different reactions in the press and this and that, it was kind of like the only way to show where we've been and, and to make ourselves happy was to just... Axel is deified by millions of fans around the world, while others consider him to be a misogynistic, maniacal singer who constantly takes his frustrations out on his band members. Axel Rose is constantly ranked among music sedulities, most dramatized personalities. Important of his behavioral problems are attributed to his delicate knowledge. After being remonstrated out of home, he was arrested on numerous occasions for public intoxication. He also decided to mend his ways and came active in Los Angeles' hard rock scene. He went on Toco, set up Guns N' Roses, which came extremely popular in the late 1980s and early 90s. The band's first anthology appetite for destruction came a mega hit all over the world. Subsequently, the band came up with several hit albums, analogous as Use Your Vision 1 and Use Your Vision 2. After the conclusion of the band's Use Your Vision tour, Axel faded from public life. For the coming numerous times, the band did not travel or perform and no new albums or mates were released. In 2001, Axel resurfaced with new band members and Guns N' Roses was revitalized. As a member of Guns N' Roses, Axel was initiated into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 2012. He is rated as one of the top most singers of all time by NME and Rolling Stone magazine. So that was all about his early life and how he started his career. Now let's quickly have a look at his lifestyle and health. Amid the queries girding the frontman's health, fans evidently got a hint and discovered his condition formerly. Well, dude, these are, these are the cousins of that bird from the night when Axel was the Hulk. This is Larry Bird. When we were under the grave that night, there was that bird. He wants a meal penalty. Whoa, He's been working. Goes there he bird. goes. Yeah. He got it. He... According to Loudwire, guitarist Richard Fortas reflected on Facebook that the rocker damaged his oral cords. This may explain why Rhodes said in his recent update that he was working with an oral coach because of sound issues. Oral injuries are truly common among singers and players in the music sedulity. In fact, some of them contract the worst cases that lead them to suffer surgeries. Fortunately, Artillery and Roses previously announced that Rose only demanded to rest due to his illness. Plaintively, due to illness and medical advice, GNRR will not be suitable to perform in Glasgow. Henceforth, 5 July 2022, we are working on listing options for this show. So please hold on to your tickets and stay for a further update. We appreciate your understanding and forbearance, the band said. Before the cancellation of the Glasgow concert, Rose told their suckers in London that he visited a croaker. The result of the checkup caused them to switch up some of the set list. With that, Carrie Underwood made surprise appearances in London on Friday and Saturday night. He was the one to perform the rocker's May hit song, Sweet Child O' Mine. His health has not been doing great, but all we can do is pray for him well that was all about his health, lifestyle. Now let's quickly have a look at his love life and relationship. William Bruce Rose Jr. goes by the name Axel Rose and is a well-known musician. 
People have known him for a long time. He would great connections with several people. But following the current news, he is presumably single. As per some sources, he has previously been in nearly 26 relationships, but he has only been married formerly. Rose has always gone public with his relationship, but after 2007, there has not been any news. It looks like he does not take important interest in connections as he used to. Before being married to Aaron Everly, he would multitudinous connections, but with Aaron Everly, he went public, she's the son of singer Don Everly of the Everly Sisters. The Bray seems to have a great relationship, and they got married in April 1990, but within a month, the news about their separation was out. Fast forward to 1986 in sunny Los Angeles, Aaron Everly met Axl Rose for the first time at a party progressed just 19. After seeing each other for a while, she eventually moved to Los Angeles from New York to continue their relationship. Aaron Everly also featured in another Guns N' Roses music video for the 1987 song It's So Easy. Aaron played a slightly gutter part, to say the least, compared to her former music video. Four times after they had firstly started dating, the couple ultimately got married on April 28, 1990. The couple changed pledges during a marriage form held at Cupid's Marriage Temple in Las Vegas. Allegedly, Axel won it in dissolution only 48 hours after the marriage. Four months after the marriage, Erin Everly lost her baby due to a confinement, largely contributing to the breakdown of their relationship. Four months after the marriage, Erin Everly lost her baby due to a confinement, largely contributing to the breakdown of their relationship. Around the same time as the confinement, the notorious bottle incident happened with Axel's neighbor, which eventually led to part of the relief behind the song, Right Coming Door to Hell. Axel Rose's relationship has been full of ups and downs. What we can say is that he is not very lucky when it comes to relationship, but we believe that everything happens for a reason. So let's chuck it now and talk about his net worth, his assets, and his Malibu mansion. Net worth of $200 million. He is most notorious for being a launching member of Guns N' Roses, one of the most successful rock bands of all time. Rose owns a home in Malibu, California. According to records, he bought the 333-square-bottom roof for $3.6 million in 1992. In 2008, Axel saved several of his neighbors' houses during a fire that stampeded through the area in the early morning, knowing that one of his neighbors was out of megacity. Axel reportedly pushed the house's gate open and hosed down the property. Opening the gate also made it easier for firefighters to eventually gain access to several near houses that were floated. The notorious supereminent singer of Guns N' Roses rides aboard a machine valued at around $6,000. Still, there is another model in his collection that shone and caused a sensation among his suckers, as it's an exclusive model that only a numerous have. The lead singer of Guns N' Roses just recently wrapped his Porsche 918 Spider in a neatly badass matte dark, with Artillery and Roses being one of the most successful rock bands of all time. It's no surprise Axel is driving one of the sickest motor cars presently available. His new five-bedroom, 7,000-square bottom Malibu house, which overlooks the ocean, bring $3.9 million. He bought it in 1992. The property is stunning and has views of Malibu and the Pacific Ocean. The place is in the suitable Latigo Canyon area of Malibu, just outside of Los Angeles. The innards of his house are truly majestic, with airy sun deck and comfortable recliner Chesterfield. All Rose is truly fond of drawing, therefore, he keeps the rustic bottoms sanitized and eviscerated up. The cross ventilation is good and makes the delineation room fresh with clean air. One of the apartments, which the Axel calls his music room, has all of their music albums and cinema from tours. Axel is kept ultimate of the information private, and we tried our swish to partake the information with you guys. So that's all for today's video. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. Turn on the notification bell so that you get notified as soon as we upload a video. Comment down below your thoughts, and we would love to hear them. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in next one.